Hello and welcome to my airspace. I'm walking through the grapefruit orchards here in Val Vista that I've been hiking in for several years. And the Asian citrus ciliad cootie has gotten to these trees very bad since I was here the last time in 2018. It's now 2020, and everywhere I go, they're chopping down trees, planting new ones, resistant, Asian ciliad citrus resistant plants. The thing I don't understand is they chop the tree down and then leave the pieces of tree and plants and you know the trunk and the branches and all that kind of stuff laying here for days and weeks at a time I would think the cootie would then be able to spread to the other trees it seems like they ought to cut it down and get it out of here immediately but I guess it's a it's a process um, so this whole row has had to have new trees it's been it's been a while, I guess, when this tree first died, and because this tree here is probably a couple years old now, and over there where you can see the light really well, that's a whole additional rows where trees have been taken down. Just like everywhere throughout this orchard, there's whole strips of it where the trees have been taken out. These are all brand new babies. These were chopped down, I don't know, a month ago or something. This whole section here. Huh. Just last year, these were big thriving trees. And I don't see any tags on these. Oh, there's one over there. Talks about the type of tree it is. Sorry for me bouncing the camera. Asian, Asian, oops. <laughs> This plant shall not be moved out of the Asian Citrus Ciliad Nursery Regional Quarantine Zone 3. Yeah. So folks, if you're not eating organic food, you're getting genetically modified stuff. Who knows what it's genetically modified with? I guess uh, genetically modified with a pesticide? that the Asian Citrus Ciliad Cootie doesn't like, is my best guess. So, another reason to buy organic. Make it a wonderful day. Yesterday was Christmas 2020, and if you've been following me for a while, you've been listening to my videos as I've talked about the Communist Chinese Party virus that has swept the world which is a bunch of BS. They started calling it a pandemic in February, and if you look up the, the uh, definition of pandemic, you'll see that it's something that affects the world, the population of the world, in a very significant manner. And the only way, even at this point, December 26th, that it's been significant is by the media. Because to me, and my research that I've done, it's 5% of the population, at the very minimum, means significant. The population of the world is, um, is 7.88 billion at this point, and it's like something like 1.7 billion people have died, or million, excuse me, million people have died in the world, and that's nowhere near 7%. 5%. 5% of 8 billion is uh, 
400 million, isn't it? Something like that. Anyway, okay, make it a wonderful day. Subscribe to my channel and go out there and perform a random act of kindness. Pick up some trash. Give yourself a hug. Give somebody else a hug. Forget about the virus and give somebody a hug. And let's support your, you know, uh, medically challenged. You're on a bunch of drugs. You're over 80 years old. Um, a heavy smoker or some other age and you're a heavy smoker, a heavy vapor, a heavy smoker of cigarettes, pot, cigar, whatever, since it's a lung disease. Or I guess also if you're a heavy smoker and live in a big city, you might want to worry. Anyway, yep, go out and give somebody a hug, love yourself, perform a random act of kindness, and tell someone I love you. I love you.